Hello Year 10 students, it's Mr Omara here and I want to have a quick talk to you about how you go about writing a body paragraph and in particular I'm going to use an example from the help essay that you're working on at the moment. So here's the prompt that we're working on. The help is all about problems but not solutions because I think it's better to understand how a body paragraph works in terms of an actual essay prompt. We are of course working with the teal structure which I'm sure you all know, well at least you know the letters T-E-E-L. I guess why I'm going through this is I think that some of you do, a little, do need a little bit of help about what exactly each of these mean. Let's start with the topic sentence. The first thing I want to say about the topic sentence is that the topic sentence is talking about ideas. It is not an example from this book. Sorry, from this film. Lots of people fall into this trap. They talk about something that happened in the film as the topic sentence. You need to stay up with your topic sentence in the level of ideas. Talking about things which are true in a number of examples. So I'll give you an example of this. There you can pause and have a look at that topic sentence. It is not about what happened to a particular maid. It is not about a particular white employer. If this is generally true of this film, you would expect to be able to find three or four examples of where this happens. Because if something happens only once, it might not be true for the whole film. So, there's my topic sentence. The help is a story about problems, mostly the problems of black maids and how their white employers treat them. I am using one of the key words from the prompt, which is problems, and I'm articulating whose problems it is that I'm talking about. Next up is the example or evidence. This one cuts both ways. Some people say example, some say evidence. It means the same thing. Here is the example I've given. Now this is what a lot of you are dropping in as topic sentences, but this is in fact evidence or an example. Now you'll notice I talk about Minnie Jackson, I talk about she's been working as a maid, she's in Mississippi, she's one of the best books, she's actually one of the best cooks, sorry about that. Um, when she disobeys her employer, Miss Holly Holbrook, and uses the inside toilet, she is immediately dismissed and sent out into the storm. This is probably about the minimum detail you want in your examples and whereas I've provided one example like this, by this stage of year 10 you probably want two examples to back up each of your points. Because again, if it's something that's common to the film, it's something that happens more than once. Most of you are doing this section really, really well. You describe incidents from the film accurately and vividly. This is the bit where lots of people fall down, is explain. You've said the topic sentence, what it is that you want to say, you've put it down on the page and now you need to explain to the reader what it means. They might think it means something entirely different to what you mean. They might think that um, that Minnie deserved to be fired for disobeying orders. They might think, you know, I don't know what they might think, which is why we tell them. So, this shows us that there are very real problems in this story and in Jackson in the 1960s. And again, I'm showing the knowledge I have of the text. One of the problems for black maids is how badly their white employers treat them. So I come back and say, you know what, this is why I gave you this example, to show you that there are problems, and the problem is how black maids are treated by their white employers. So that's what explain is. And lots of you are either not doing this or not doing it very well. So you really need to knuckle down and concentrate on this because this is one of the trickiest bits of a good essay. Last is the link. Now the link should actually be a double L, but I'm sure you're intelligent enough to remember that. So it's it's sort of teal plus. There is the link back, which is the link back to the point I'm just making, and also, sorry, the link to the um, overall essay point, and also the link forward to the point I'm going to make in the next paragraph. So let's have a look. The help is a story about problems, particularly for the black maids. So that's going back to the prompt and saying, you know what? Yes, the help is a story about problems, but they are not the only ones in the film with problems. So I am getting the reader ready for the fact that I'm going to come back in the next paragraph and talk about the problems of the white women. So that is what your link is. You link back to the essay prompt and say, this is what it shows us in terms of the essay prompt, and this is where I'm going next. So. You've got your teal structure, but you've got to be really honest with yourself about this last E and this L. Some of you are just doing a T structure. And, um, and that is how you do a half-reasonable body paragraph.